up everybody so out here doing a little bit of scouting seeing if we can find some catfish we got a really late start today weather has been crazy here in texas i've been saying that a lot lately it seems like every video and uh, you know it just has continued to hold true and we're having these really really warm days and kind of cooler nights and the water temperature is just not dropping enough to really get those fish pushed into a winter pattern so they're really really scattered and uh, have, have been tough to catch and tough to pattern they really don't stay in a pattern they're moving every day different places and a lot of times you know you get out there and even when you mark good fish uh, you just can't get them to bite fishing with big baits today trying to keep those smaller fish off the line and uh, just doing a little scouting hanging out you know we've been dragging some baits here for a while knocking some fish in the heads I'm uh, watching my graph still marking fish we've had some smaller fish bites where they're just kind of pulling on those bigger baits but can't get them in their mouths I'm afraid we're gonna get blown off the water it's already pretty windy it's blowing over 20 right now and it's supposed to get worse here um, pretty quickly but uh, we're gonna try to see if we can't tough it out see if we can at least catch a few try to make a video out of it I made an error, shut the camera off on accident. We were missed the takedown. I think we got a, a decent one on now. Uh, swing your rod over to the left. There you go. Keep it out away from the boat. Now you're going to have to to reel down don't let any slack get in it lower your rod there you go reel now come up slow try to get it up off the bottom keep going nice and slow and smooth nice and easy nice and easy don't jerk you're just going to keep coming up swing it to the left there you go try to keep it out away from the boat Getting close, keep going. Come up. You all right? You got it? <laughs> Come on, foe, get it in the net. You gotta get it up so I can see it. What do you mean you can't see it? <laughs> That a girl. Good job, sister. Push what? Get out of the way, Skeeter. fish on yeah all right here look step out of the way let me put this in the live well uh, another good one so it's hard because she's not used to using that hand I know. Little one. See what happens. Got a fish on it. Uh oh, what happened? Trolling motor's having a hard time keeping up. Don't feel anything? Uh, it's 
got a little bitty fish on it. Just a little one. on there or not. It doesn't look right. Feel anything? No. Yeah. Oh. Got another little one. We hooked into a couple of box fish on that first drift and had one really good bite. Um, had a lot of little fish chasing after them, just kind of pecking because I'm fishing these big baits. But, um, you know, had some action and like I said, as tough as things have been, it's, uh, you know, it's all right, I guess I'll take it. Kind of limited in, in where we can go and what we can do right now because of the wind. Ava's got her clown pants on up here bundled up in between the consoles trying to stay warm it's kind of cooled off a little bit so my cameraman totally botched this up and I do all my own stunts so I'm the cameraman and I did not do a good job on this trip uh, I don't get my daughter on the boat a whole lot and uh, haven't really been able to spend a ton of time with my son because he's been off at Lubbock guns up Texas Tech yeah, so usually when I got the, the kids on the boat with me, I'm kind of more focused on them and trying to spend that quality time and engaging with them than I am just laser focused on trying to film. Even when I'm really focused on filming, I screw stuff up all the time. In this instance, I was really helping my daughter catch fish and that chest mounted camera that I use, there was a ton of footage where uh, it was basically the back of her jacket or the back of her head. You couldn't really see what's going on because I was looking over her shoulder and uh, that camera was blocked on my chest. Where I, I screwed up like the first four fish we caught. I didn't realize the stereo was on in the boat and music was playing. It's an issue uh, when that copyrighted music uh, is in the background even on YouTube videos. Uh, they'll hit me with a copyright claim and uh, that can be detrimental to my YouTube channel long term. So long story short, I had a ton of footage that I had to cut and I tried and tried and tried to work with it. And I finally, I just spent so much time with it that I couldn't make it work um, and it was just too much trouble. So I had to cut probably, I don't know, six, seven, eight, ten fish um, that were actually some pretty good action videos um, had they been uh, at the right camera angles and not had that music in the background so it is what it is i appreciate you watching i hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something didn't cover a lot of tips and that kind of stuff in this video but i got some great stuff coming down the pipe uh it looks like winter is over here in texas we never really had a winter never really got cold enough to really push those fish into that winter pattern but it's warming up. We were getting these 65, 70 plus degree days right now. And uh, I think once we get through this next little cool front we've got coming, then that should be it. I think we're gonna see that water temperature start to warm up. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm done with the cold at this point, done with the winter fishing, ready for the spring bite to get started. I've got some great stuff planned this spring. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and stay tuned.